Hey guys, this is Kieran from Server Pro, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to run commands for players when they first join your server using the plugin First Join Commands. So there are also some other features to this plugin which make it really helpful. So it's got some other features including for worlds. So when a player first joins a world, it can run a command. You can have commands run when players leave and multiple other things. So let's go ahead and start setting this up. So the first thing that you need to do is make sure that your server is running Spigot if it's not running it already. Once it is running Spigot, go back to this page. There'll be a link to it down in the description below and then click the download now button. Then once you've clicked that, save it to your downloads folder and then go back to the control panel. Then on the control panel, go to the plugins tab on the left hand side and then search for vault as first join commands requires vault to be installed for it to work properly. So click install latest on that. Then once you've installed that, go to the file manager, then go to the plugins folder, click upload file, choose files, and then select the first join commands jar that we just downloaded and click upload from computer. Then once that's uploaded, click restart and that will load first join commands and vaults. So once you've given your server a few moments to start up, click the refresh button. And then there you should see a folder appear called first join commands. If you don't see this folder appear, that means first join commands hasn't loaded up yet. So give it a few more moments. And if it still hasn't loaded up after that, please contact our support as there is likely an error with the plugin. However, if the folder is there, click on it and then in here you should see multiple configuration files for the plugin. So the first file that we're going to take a look at is the config.yml file. So if you go ahead and open that, and as you can see, this file has quite a few settings in it and all of them are nicely commented. So we're not going to be going over each one of them as they all work in the same way and you can see each one does with the comment above it. So we're just going to edit the first one, which is first join commands. So here is where you define the command that runs when a player first joins the server. So at the moment, by default, it's set to run the command forward slash me example so it's important to know that when you enter commands here you don't enter the forward slash as you can see here none of them have the forward slash they just have dash space and then the command so it's important to remember that so feel free to edit this to whatever you want and you can also use placeholders so if you take a look at this page which is the spigot page for this plugin you can see that there are multiple placeholders here so you can use the player's username or the player's name with prefixes and suffixes if you're using a permissions plugin or a chat formatting plugin and then you can see the IP address so all of these will change to the relevant things so for this example I'm just going to change this to put and um, let's put say percent player percent welcome to this server so now that should run when the player first joins the server. So go ahead and edit all of this if you want to. There are multiple different functions which you can change here. And also you can add multiple commands if you wanted to. So for example, for each one of these, you could just put a line beneath and do the same thing. So say if you wanted to give a player an item, you could put give percent player percent and then the item name, so would one, for example, and then that would work. And you can do any command in game. It doesn't have to be any of those two. So once you've gone ahead and edited the file, click save and then restart the server. I'm not going to restart the server just yet as we're going to be editing some further files. So the next configuration file is disable-specific.yml. So if we open this, basically what this file allows you to do is disable these features from working in certain worlds. So by default, you can see that it just says example world. So that means it's basically disabled and this feature isn't doing anything. So the way this works is if you have multiple worlds, maybe you have kit PVP, um, factions and the survival world and you only wanted the commands to work in a survival world what you would do you would list the name of the worlds here for the ones where you don't want them to run basically so if you don't want first join commands to run in factions and pvp you can disable it just like that you can also add further worlds so if you had a world maybe called called creative you could disable it just like that too or you can remove them so you've just got one it's completely up to you configure it to your liking and also if your worlds have capital letters in them make sure you put them in too so for example if faction started with a capital f make sure you put that there and you can go ahead and disable each of these features in specific worlds if you wanted to so again once you've made any changes click save and then let's take a look at the enable.yml file so this is basically where you're able to enable or disable each of the settings. So for example, if you set up first join commands to give a player a diamond every time they joined and you were doing something on the server where you wanted this to be disabled, you would just set it to false or set whatever setting this was relevant to, to false, and then click save, restart your server, and then that would prevent that from happening. However, I want them all to be true, as I do like them, and if I was to go on and configure this on a server, I would use each of them. So click save again once you've made any changes, and then let's take a look at the everyjoinworlds.yml file. So basically what this file does is enables it in certain worlds. So for example, when a player first joins a world, this command is run. So by default, it's just got example world written down, However, if you had a world, again, called factions, and you wanted the command maybe 
um, say percent player percent has joined a factions world to run you could do that or you can set it to whatever you want you could have them be given a create key and um, it's completely up to you it's any command in game basically so again once you've made any changes go ahead and save the file and then let's take a look at the first join worlds so again this is just very similar to the previous file where you're able to define the first join commands for each world rather than the entire server again click save it's important to remember to click save once you finish editing a file because if you back out of it it won't save and then all the changes you made will be lost so the next file is at mode.yml so if we take a look at this here you have some things where it says op so if it's set to op like it is here that means it will run the command from the player and it won't consider any permissions so the player will effectively have all the permissions when this command is run so you can set this to op or console which means it runs from the console or you can do player if you set it to player that means the player will need to have permission for this command i like to have them set to server as i think that's a nice way to have it and um, so i'm just going to go ahead and set all these to server so you may leave it as op as some commands require the player to be in game and if you run a command from a console you can't always do that so just go ahead and configure these you can have them all on multiple ones they don't all have to be the same so i could set this one to be op I could also set this one to be player. It's completely up to you. So click save again once you've edited it. And then let's take a quick look at the specific player leave.yml file. So this is if you have a specific player on the server and you want there to be a command run when they leave. For example, this could be done when an owner leaves a server. So you would need to add the player name down here and then you can add the player above. So for Steve, you can list Steve here and then list him above. So if I was going to add myself, I would add racerk12 and I'd copy this and just paste it below and then put racerk12 and then when I left the server or leave the server it will run this command you can change it again to whatever you want and um, it's quite cool to announce when a player leaves it's so click save again once you made any changes and then we've got specific player join left and that just works in the same way as specific player leave but the opposite way around so when a player joins the server so again make sure you save the file and once you've made any changes restart the server and then you can go ahead and join to test it so as you can see i've just joined my minecraft server and it's run the command that i set it to so it says say racerk12 welcome to this server so the plugin's working and i do recommend going through it and checking each setting that you set up to ensure that the commands are running perfectly other than that i hope that you have a fantastic day and make sure you comment down below with new tutorials that you'd like to see in the future so thank you for watching and goodbye